Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I want to share with you an on-trend wrist corsage perfect for prom and wedding throughout the year. The latest trend for wrist corsages is to base it on a cuff, like so, that they can just put on. For the base, I use one inch flat wire, cut to size, and then molded. And the one issue is that it has a sharp edge. With metallics being so on trend, let's add texture and more metallic. Using bullion wire, just pulling off three yards. And then crush it together, basically wadding it up. rolling it, and then elongate. You want it to be about the same length as the edge of the band. To adhere the bullion wire to the flat wire, a U-glue dash, pull it off, removing it, and then just starting at one edge, stretch it across to the other edge so that you've got glue dash the whole length, then taking your bullion wire and compressing it on and wrapping it around so that you get a nice coverage so there's no sharp edges, and repeat that on both sides so that it's ready to wear. When it's time to add flowers, use a combination of the U-glue strips and the Oasis Flow Adhesive cold glue. Takes half a strip, place directly onto the cuff. This gives you a really sticky, sticky base so you don't have to worry about it coming off. Then for the flowers, I'll use the glue. And I picked some spray roses in bright, bright orange. We've been blush and white for so many years, and finally bright colors are coming back. So these are going to be fabulous. Crispetia and vivid yellow. And then to make it even darker, going back into a burgundy, almost maroon with scabiosa buds. And lastly, a small amount of the Pieris. Andromeda, little seed pods, again in that maroon burgundy hue that is so popular. Clipping it down, and maybe a leaf or two of Ruscus, just to give it a little bit of a fresh green look. Then when it comes time to glue, glue sticks to glue, the best of all. So just put a little bit of glue on your glue dash, then go back, adding glue to your blooms, letting them begin to set. And then starting with the lightness, placing it first. Letting it drape. Maybe a leaf so that that's going to be underneath. And then, as you get your base begun, go back and add your heavier items, the roses, making sure that you get it tucked in where there is glue, so that it's glue to glue, hold securely. And going back, adding the Crispetia, and continue adding till you get a beautiful, beautiful cuff. The smallest things, the scabiosa buds, save them for last because they're the most delicate. They can go over the top of everything else. 
Going back, adding it in, building it up. Getting the depth of color. And then double checking that all your glue is concealed and that the texture is beautiful on both sides, front and back. You could stop here beautiful, textural, nice and organic looking, but with metallics being so on trend, to add a little more brightness, just a touch of bling, maybe a yard or so of the bullion wire. Once again, crush it, and then roll it, kind of like you're doing Play-Doh, creating a nice sphere or orb Nice round, and then just taking a little bit of glue, adding it in, and I made a couple more. Maybe coming over to the front. Just that little touch, maybe one last one. Off to the side to finish it off. On trend for prom and wedding 2018, the classic cuff, it's sure to be a favorite. For more creative inspiration, check out the website at flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through there or pick up the telephone and give us a call at 503-223-8089. And of course, I'd love to see what you create. Take a photo, send it to my personal email, or better yet, post it on social media and tag Floral Design Institute so we all can see. Because now it's your turn. What are you going to create as you do something you love?